and today we're going to make this animation with Blender. And you can see here that there's a napkin with a batik texture is falling from the top to the bottom and it touches the plate and also the floor. And for the lightning around here, it's got light somewhere around this if it is in 3D. So, let's go to the next video to see how it's made. So, for the first step, you're going to need to make the floor. So, we're just going to have to add a plane and go far away because we're going to scale it by so big as 100. Yep, it covers very big. And we're just going to go back here and stay from this side. Now we're going to make the plate. So let's go to front view, then shift A and we just add a circle. And we're going to do, oops, okay, edit mode. Then we're going to extrude it at B axis and then just maybe up till this. Then we're going to extrude it some more at B, maybe as around here and then we're going to scale it. Yeah, then go down. Okay, this is up here. So this will be quite a kind of the size of the plate. Now we're going to extrude it one more time and then scale it bigger. Now we have a plate. Okay, I know the hole. I'm just going to loop it, face it, and done. And you know it started from a circle, but not a cylinder, so it has no thickness. And for that, we're going to have to give it a new modifier, so this is a 5. So, you can see here that all the edges are kind of being barely seen. And you can see closely right here that it already has a thickness, and but it's not enough. So we're just going to get up on the thickness a bit until you think it's already okay. So I think this is okay. And if you're done, just get out of it. And now, we're going to make the napkin by shift A. We're going to add a plane. And it's going to be the napkin. So we're going to put it around up here. Let's just position it. We're going to R, Y, 90. Then we're just going to drag it here. Oops, okay, let's just go here. Okay, let's go here. We're gonna run it from X. Well, maybe around like this. And then, we don't want to make it very straight like this. So we're gonna R, Y, and just make it like that. And we're, we're gonna put in some of, a part of this napkin on, falling to the floor and some falling to the plate. So the plane is aligned with this line. So we're gonna put it here. So some will drop here and some will drop to the floor. And we're gonna give it a float modifier. And this float gives it <coughs> a behavior as a float so it will fall down, fold over, and do anything else. But if we go to edit mode, it's only one face. So it won't bend or anything. So we're gonna subdivide it. Subdivide number of cuts. We're gonna set it to 24. Okay. Then after we're done, we're gonna get out of edit mode. Then, as we want to fall on the plate and both also on the floor, we're gonna set the plate as a collision. Oh yeah, so, sorry, for this one, for the step, we're going to set it to 10. Back in here, both of them must be full, so, for the damping, it won't bounce off, 
for the friction it would slide over also for this in the whole floor we're gonna set a collision too same like just now then a was here and as we only wanted 80 frames to go along we're gonna set the end frame to 80 so we're gonna test it we're gonna okay, make this now we're done and we're gonna test it okay so you can see here that it already did that and it already moves around but okay, let's just go up a bit first okay so let's just like that so it's actually here and it actually you can see just now that it falls out of the plate so we're gonna drag it into the plate a bit that and this in this case the part particle of friction must be thousand so it doesn't slip off then we're gonna go back here as we're changing it we're gonna rebake and then we're gonna rebake and now after it's done baking well after the baking I also added a solid deposit modifier you can see here that it now doesn't fall off the plate Instead, it goes into the plate, but the bad thing you can see here that it's actually overlapping. So we're gonna go back to the book page, and as it's already big, we cannot do anything. So we're gonna free big, and we're gonna go to collision, activate the self collision, and then after date. We're gonna bake it and now after we're done baking so we're gonna see it oh yeah from here so now you can see here that not everything looks nicer but I'm just gonna add a subdivision in the surface and just because of subdivision surface it doesn't affect anything about the baking this is the stuff outside the physics. So we're gonna set the view into view. The render must be same. And then after this, what I've done so far, let's just save it. Okay, let's just save it as snap pin. Okay, so the raw. Well I'm just gonna say that's it too because I already done here one and after that we're just gonna save it and now for the last part we're gonna give a material uh, setting up the light and also rendering it so first we're gonna give a material to the napkin because it's actually also my favorite so we're gonna go here new give it the views color we're gonna change it into image texture or you can do it with anything else so I'm just gonna grab my texture here and here and as we go to render it'll look some kind of like this and if you can see here that it has no texture then as soon as we change it it's generated okay it might take a little time and you can see here that now it already has its own texture so let's just quit this thing and the next thing we're gonna give material with the plate okay so for the plate i'm choosing gray color so like this and i'm just gonna cut this also and for the floor what and now for the whole world and I'm just gonna set it to really black then for the lightning first we're gonna go to front view 
and we're gonna rotate it the way the plate goes. So it's from here. Then we're gonna go here. The side we're gonna stay the two smaller until it matches the right one. Okay, like this. And then not just that, we have to look the other way around. In here. It's not straight, so we're gonna slide it up on their way. And if it doesn't fit, you're gonna need to resize it again and rotate it off again. So the line will show something some kind of like this. And if we give out the gold, it will shine this way. So I think we am just gonna take it here. Take it just a bit of here. It's perfect right now. All the whole phone is now shining on the plate. Okay. Now we're gonna see if it is rendered. Okay. So you can see here for the first one, you can see that the light is not bright enough. So we're gonna change the strength into 1000. And we're just gonna flip. Oops, sorry, okay, I think we're just gonna have to grow kind of gray like this. Okay, because I'm just not fair it was black, so sorry, it will have to be super dark like that. But if it is gray, it's already perfect. And in the camera view, you will see some kind of like this. And now, after we're done setting up the light, giving it materials to do, to do everything else and the last thing we're gonna render so render we're gonna set the first one output be sure where you like the, the place for the output so I'm just gonna set it to the and okay just accept it and then for the format you can set it to anything you want in the movie part, but for me I'm using the ABI tag and then for the samples as it is so it kind of be so that the render value is a height like or some kind of that. So for the render I set it to 25. And after you're sure about everything about the samples, the format, and on the output, go ahead and click animation. So, after you click that, just wait for quite a long time as it renders every frame. And now, after that long wait of rendering, this the final result. So, it not getting falls from the top around here and up over the napkin falls down and then it hits the plate then it slowly slides down to the bottom and then everything so everything is still same With the napkin everything is still same no textures chains and if it is just like this from the camera view well it will look something like this so thank you for watching, good luck making another animations or just this animation and don't forget to subscribe.